Gentlemen, Financial Ape here. Today we're going to be learning about the basics of options. But before we jump into that, I just want to introduce the different types of derivatives in this world. I think before you even start with options, you must be able to recognize what derivative you're dealing with. The first type of derivative is called a forward commitment. Now, this comprises forwards, futures, and interest rate swaps. The second one is contingent claims. Now, that comprises options, which you, uh, you guys are very familiar with. I'm sure you've heard that before. And credit default swaps. Now, the difference between options and credit default swaps is options are based or derive their value, I should say, from equity securities. That's the umbrella term for stocks. They're known as equity securities, right? And now credit default swaps are based on bonds. So they derive their value from bonds, okay? That is the underlying security of the credit default swap. Options, the underlying security is equity securities, stocks, right? AKA stocks. Now, credit default swaps, their underlying security is the bond or specific, specifically um, debt securities. That's the umbrella term for bonds, debt securities, all right? And now options contracts, okay, they come in two different styles. You have something called an American option and a European option. Now, contrary to popular belief, this is not based on their geographical location, okay? American option is an option that can be exercised anytime up to and including the exercise date or the maturity date. You can use those words interchangeably. Now, assuming they have intrinsic value, of course, you cannot exercise an option if you do not have intrinsic value. In fact, another word for intrinsic value is exercise value, right? If you don't want to use intrinsic value, if you find it's too intricate, you may opt for the words um, exercise value. It's much more intuitive that way. So that's for an American option, all right? European options, they can only be exercised on the specific maturity date, assuming once again that they have intrinsic value, okay? A call option, an American one, is a contract that gives the owner the right, but not the obligation to buy a specified amount of securities, right? It's usually in a hundred share increments, right? So one contract controls or represents a hundred shares, all right? And it's done at a specified price and within a specified period of time, okay? All options have an expiration date, okay? For a put option, once again, an American style one, it's a contract that gives the owner the right, but not the obligation to sell. Note the difference, it's to sell here. So it gives the right, but not the obligation to sell a specified amount of security at a specified price within a particular period of time, okay? The right, rather than the obligation to buy or sell the underlying security is what differentiates options from futures contracts. When you're long the option, whether it's a put or a call, okay, you are buying these contracts. So you want the value of the contract to go up, all right? A long position, is always the buying position. And whenever you're buying an option, it gives you the right, but not the obligation. This is not the same when you're selling a option, an option, whether it's a put or a call. 
it's very important to note that an option gives you the right but not the obligation right when you're buying options okay when you're selling them they sometimes it you're forced to give away your shares or you're forced to buy a certain amount of shares that is very important to understand i know it's called option right because it gives you the option but in reality when you're buying options you have the right but not the obligation to do either a sell or buy. But when you're selling an option, things can be different. Sometimes you are forced to buy 100 shares or sometimes you are forced to sell 100 shares. Hopefully, I've clarified a few misconceptions that you guys have had as well as educate you in the of the realm of derivatives if you guys have any further questions you are more than welcome to comment i can clarify things if you want thank you very much for giving me the opportunity to explain to you guys the basics of options have a wonderful day see you all on the moon Thank you very much.